Good everyone, you're watching Video Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if the taskbar is not hiding in full screen. Now, there could be various reasons why the taskbar is not hiding in full screen. Some of them could be notifications, file explorer not working properly, outdated windows, software bug, or taskbar settings. Now, the first method to fix the issue is to check the taskbar settings. So you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings page, you may go ahead and click on personalization. Under personalization on the right hand side, go ahead and look for taskbar. Click on taskbar. Under this, go ahead and select taskbar behavior. In this, make sure automatically hide the taskbar option has been checked in case if you want to hide the taskbar in full screen. Once this has been checked, you may go ahead and close this window and then try to check if the uh, taskbar is hiding in the full screen. Now, if the issue has been resolved well and good, you don't have to worry about the next step. Now, the next method is to go ahead and restart the Windows Explorer from the task manager. So you you can press Control shift escape on your keyboard to open the task manager otherwise you can do a right click on the start button and then click on task manager this should open the task manager on your computer now here you may go ahead and click on processes under processes go ahead and look for explorer once you locate windows explorer what you could do is you could do a right click on the windows explorer and then click on restart this should restart the windows explorer processes on your computer and um, and usually you should be you should have your windows explorer back on the screen now once this is done you can also do is uh, go back to the processes and look for windows explorer do a right click on the windows explorer and then click on end task so basically what you're doing is you're restarting the windows explorer and then killing the windows explorer process on the computer now once that is done you can try try tapping the windows key on your keyboard and check if your taskbar has been restored back in case if it is not restored what you could do is you may go ahead and click on run new task on your task manager and type explorer.exe and then click on ok and this should restore back your windows explorer on your computer it might take about a minute or two and uh, then you can try to check if the taskbar is hiding in the full screen now in case if it is hiding in the full screen you don't have to try the next method now the next method is to go ahead and check the app notification so with this you have to make sure that you have no active notification from apps that are important if there are any active app notification then it might not be able to get or hide the taskbar when you are in the full screen so make sure any of these notifications are read or they have been closed now in spite of this if you are still facing a problem another settings what you could do is you could also disable the notifications for apps so to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you are on the settings you may go ahead and click on personalization and then on the right hand side you may go ahead and click on on taskbar once you are on the taskbar you may go ahead and expand taskbar behaviors and uncheck the box which says show batches for show badges on taskbar apps you may go ahead and uncheck this once this is done you may close this window and check you are able to hide the taskbar in the full screen now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next method what you could do is you could go ahead and repair your system files with dism now to do this you will have to open the command prompt so in the search window you may go ahead and type command prompt as a best match you would see command prompt and then do a right click and then click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen now here you will have to go ahead and enter the couple of commands the first command what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and run the command to scan the health so yeah, i will paste the command in the video description you can copy it and paste it here by doing a right click on the command prompt that should automatically paste the command or else you can do a right click on the command prompt window here and then click on edit and paste or you can use Control v on your keyboard once you have typed the command hit enter now it will take about 20 minutes to scan and uh, once the scan is complete you will have to run the next command to restore health so let's wait for the scan to complete once the scan is complete you would see a message on the screen that the operation completed successfully next command what you will have to go ahead and run is to to run the command to restore health so you can copy the command from the video description and paste it in the command prompt you can do a right click and then click on edit and then click on paste and that should uh, paste the command in the command prompt once 
once you have the command prompt you may go ahead and hit enter what this will do is it will fix the corrupted file and it will take about uh, more than 5 to 10 minutes to complete this to uh, execute this command so you may go ahead and hit enter once the restore health command has been successfully executed it should have repaired the corrupted files on your computer once this is done you may go ahead and close this window and at the same time what you could do is you could go ahead and try if the taskbar is hiding in the full screen now in spite of trying this step and if you're still facing a problem the next method is to run the system file checker on your computer to do this you will have to open command prompt so in the search window you may go ahead and type command prompt run the command prompt as an administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now in the command prompt window you will have to go ahead and type the command which says sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter so it will begin the system scan and the process will take some time and you might want to go ahead and restart the computer once the sfc scan or the system file checker is complete once this is done you may go ahead and restart your computer and check if your uh, taskbar is hiding in the full screen now in case if it works well and good you don't have to worry about the next step the next method is to go ahead and check for the windows update uh, and see if there are any updates to be installed check for the windows update you may go ahead and do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page you may go ahead and click on windows update on the extreme bottom left corner of this window and check for the updates and see if there are any updates to be installed on the computer now in case if there are any updates to be installed on the computer go ahead and install those updates and restart your computer and check if your taskbar is hiding in the full screen now in case if it works well and good you don't have to worry about the next step now, in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step is to go ahead and delete the registry key of taskbar on your computer to do this uh, you will have to click on the search in the search window you may go ahead and type command prompt do a right click on the command prompt and click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may go ahead and click on hit click on yes or continue on the screen now once you have the command prompt open to delete the registry key for the taskbar you will have to copy the command from the video description and paste it here it is the command to run or delete the registry key all you need to do is you can do a right click and then click on edit and then click on paste and hit enter this will go ahead and restart your computer now once the restart is complete you may go ahead and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem you may go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel Thank you. Have a great day.